In this video, I'm going to dive into doing low-level control with Go1 over the wireless network. We did a previous video that explained how to do this with a direct connection, a wired connection via Ethernet, but sometimes it's uh, convenient to do this wirelessly. The setup is a little bit more involved. This diagram is a work in progress that we uh, created from a few of Unitree's diagrams, but uh, let me just explain at a very high level uh, what's going on. So uh, what we'll do is we'll power up Go1, we'll connect to its network, and that will put us uh, with an IP address in this range of this 12 dot, uh, whatever we get assigned. And what we ultimately wanna do is have access to this main control board or beyond uh, have a route to it so that uh, we can control uh, the joint motors. So uh, that's why there's going to be a bit of IP tables, uh, routing involved and, and forwarding of packets over to uh, the main control board. And let's understand uh, from a code perspective why that's important. So uh, this IP, this 192.168.123.10, that is uh, the main control board IP. So if you try to do this uh, by default without any routing, uh, you're not going to be able to, uh, to make it through to the uh, control board and, and none of this code will work. Uh, you might have seen that trying to compile it and run it and then nothing happens. We'll go through these steps. I put this just together. I'll share a link to it beneath the video uh, so you can walk through it and hopefully it should be pretty straightforward. Now, I am on a Windows machine. I do have Docker installed. Uh, those are some requirements, and you can obviously uh, do this from a Linux host if you'd like as well. I'm going to run this uh, nice convenient uh, image. It has a ROS and a desktop version with uh, the ability to connect through the web browser, which is really cool. So this is now currently running. I'll go to localhost 6080. So the first thing that I want to do is fire up a terminal and we want to make sure that uh, we have the ability to ping. I'm going to update my system. I'll go ahead and install the IP utils ping package. For some reason, this uh, instance does not have that by default. Okay, now uh, we're still connected to our home network. I'll proceed with installing the legged SDK. Note, we haven't connected to the Go1 network yet. We need to uh, get a few packages. If you, You'll notice in these steps that I have a reference to a Catkin workspace. I just recommend doing this as you're building out this uh, instance and you want to do some raw stuff in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and make that directory. So that'll make our Catkin directory and our source directory. We'll go into it and then we're going to a clone the legged SDK at tagged version 3.8.0. That's the version that has compatibility with Go1. So the way this works is I have to paste it in here into this uh, virtual desktop. And then I'll go into the directory. I'll right click, select paste. We'll go ahead and clone it. And then the next step is we'll do the make file and then the build. So this is uh, several steps together. So what that's essentially doing is going through uh, the various C++ examples, compiling them uh, so that we can execute them. Our example code is built. We'll move on to uh, powering up Go1, putting it into a low level control mode and then uh, putting it on the rack. We ultimately need to have it suspended to be able to run this code and not uh, cause any potential harm to uh, Go One's motors. I will now look for the Go1 network. We can see it here. I'll connect. And for the demonstration, I'm going to have uh, two terminal windows open. The one on the left will be the uh, Linux instance that I've spun up in Docker. 
and the one on the right we'll use to SSH into uh, Go One to set up the IP routing. So the first thing that I want to do is just demonstrate that I cannot ping the main controller board. You'll see that uh, there's no response. So the goal here is to set up routing so that we do get a response and that our code will run. So I'll go ahead and cancel that. So the first thing that I'll need to do is SSH into Raspberry Pi on Go1. Now that I'm on Go1's network, this should not be a problem. That'll be Pi. We'll edit our configuration so that we can do this um, packet forwarding. You'll, know, you'll notice the line in here, this net IPv4 IP forward equals one. I'll go ahead and save that. We'll reload the config file. You'll see that it will echo this line, which uh, has changed. It has been uncommented. And then for the next step, I won't go into all the details here. Just know that you can uh, copy this and uh, paste this into your terminal and everything should run perfectly. So I'll go ahead and put it in here. I'll right click, select paste. So all of that's done. And we'll go back to our Ubuntu terminal, the one where we're going to actually run the code from. And I'll just up arrow on my keyboard. You'll see now that we are getting a response from the main control unit. Let's look at that visually. So we've SSH'd into the Pi. And now we have routes to be able to uh, ping this board and ultimately control each of the joint motors. Okay, I'll control C, we'll stop pinging. And then in our directory, we have the different examples. Let me just start with example position. If everything is set up and forwarding is currently working correctly, we should see uh, go one execute this script. So there we can see uh, the right front leg moving. Let's go ahead and cancel that. We'll do an example velocity. And then finally, we'll do an example torque. Now this sometimes gives me mixed results, but I'll just demonstrate. So you can see there, it's kind of jittering. You don't want to do that for too long, but uh, for some reason, if I do it again, can see that it moves into position. So that was an overview of configuring your system to do low level control over the wireless network. I'll finish with uh, one last thing. So you can see that I can still ping uh, the main control board. And what I'll do in here is I'll flush the IP tables and then we'll flush the NAT table. And at that point uh, we can no longer ping. So if you want to you know, revert your settings, you can do that. You can go into your configuration file, the sys control file, comment this, reload it, and your Pi will be back to normal. So I hope this video was helpful. Please feel free to post uh, a question below. If you have any problems with the gist, you know, we're happy to help. And until next time, thanks for watching.